It's important to recognize that the dawn of the atomic age and the creation of nuclear weapons didn't come about because scientists were trying to create a, a devastating weapon of war. Scientists were just trying to understand the periodic table. They were probing elements up to uranium to understand how the world worked. And when they got to uranium, they discovered nuclear fission. And the scientific community realized the ramifications of this discovery. Some of the scientists in America said, what do we do with this? This was discovered in Nazi Germany. This could be a really bad thing. We need to get a letter from Einstein to the president, the famous Einstein letter to FDR explaining the potential for a weapon if one could control a nuclear reaction. And that letter got to the president in the fall of 1939. And from there, the Manhattan Project began in this race to harness the atom. Now, the Manhattan Project was happening at the same time the scientists were discovering how nuclear fission would work and what might be used for nuclear fission. Not only uranium, but plutonium. Here it is, General Groves, plutonium. How would you produce enough plutonium for energy production or a weapon? The physicists said, well, you need a nuclear reactor. Now, nuclear reactors didn't exist, so they had to build one, and it worked. There were three sites in Oak Ridge from the very beginning, K-25, Y-12, and X-10, which became what we know today as Oak Ridge National Lab. They were built in Oak Ridge because the science was so new, the engineering was so new, the Manhattan Project didn't know which would get fissionable material first. On February 2nd of 1943, the X-10 graphite reactor was constructed. It was a 24-foot cube of graphite with 1,248 holes in the front into which workers would slide uranium slugs clad in aluminum. And by putting enough uranium into the reactor in the right configuration, they could cause a nuclear reaction, a chain reaction, carefully controlled. But by irradiating the uranium, taking it next door to a chemical separation facility, they could extract uh, plutonium. Enough plutonium to show that you could produce plutonium using a nuclear reactor. And scientists and engineers used this knowledge to build the permanent large reactors, production reactors at Hanford, Washington, that produced plutonium for a nuclear weapon. Once the X-10 reactor had accomplished its goal of showing how to produce plutonium, the scientists and engineers knew they had this incredible scientific instrument in the graphite reactor. How were they going to use it? Oak Ridge National Laboratory has always been a research and demonstration site where we take the hardest and newest science in the world and try to understand how to make a good use of it, what the ramifications might be. And we let that science lead us into new areas across the research spectrum. And it started with the X-10 graphite reactor.